then welcome so uh our session together and i'm going to offer the wall sequence it's a sequence i love to come back to over and over and over again it's probably my favorite sequence and it's good for any time where you're just a little low on energy or on the edge of a cold or there's a lot of stress on there's a natural detox to it and because of the the wall or furniture you don't have to hold things or pull things what's more I find more relaxing um so make sure you have blankets if you need blankets maybe a pillow for your head and we'll begin with our opening meditation with the legs up the furniture or up I have a trunk or up your wall whatever works and if you want a pillow under your head And sometimes getting up is the hardest part. I like to bring my bottom to the side and then roll up. So see what you need. Make sure you have enough clothes or blanket that you're not going to get cold. And then close your eyes. Rest your arms wherever is comfortable. And take a few deeper exhales. Out through the mouth, sighing out. Whatever day you've had so far, whatever week, month, chance to let go here in this moment. And the sighing is really a way for all the cells in the body to hear. All right. This hour is an invitation to let go. Two, three more sighs. After the next sigh, letting your breath find its natural with rhythm, whether it's short or deep. Smooth or jagged, whatever your breath happens to be like, feeling the body breathing. Asking yourself that golden question, how are you? How does your body feel right now? How's your heart? Which emotions are here? How's your mind, your thoughts like right now? And what's it like for you to be where you are? So the temperature, the light, sounds around, smells, tastes. Ah, here I am right now in this place, in this moment. And then feeling your back's contact with the mat, the floor beneath you. And see if you can sense into your breath there. Can you feel your breath in the lower back? And if not, that's fine. Just stay curious and relax into your back.
Feeling how the ground is holding you. Feeling what it's like to have the legs elevated. And with your exhale, softening into this shape. The ease of it, the naturalness of it. Two more breaths here like this. Feeling, allowing, being aware. And we'll shift our legs for our inner thigh stretch. Either butterfly, feet together, knees apart. Or frog with the feet a little bit apart and the knees apart. Or dragonfly with the legs extended. So whatever is the most effective inner thigh stretch for you. And effective doesn't mean the most intense. But what helps you get a good inner thigh yeah, stretch. Make your choice. We'll hold it for five minutes. And I invite you to breathe into the stretch. If the five minutes end up being too long, of course, bring the legs together or switch from one variation to the other. That stillness is a container, not a prison. And we wanna find a stretch that we can surrender to. It may be intense, but it's bearable. There's a sense of being able to breathe through the stretching, allow the stretch. And the inner thighs, where the liver meridian runs up, that important organ for detoxing the body. It's also an incredible chemical factory that helps bring nutrients, vitamins throughout the body where they're needed. So if you like, you can breathe in to either the stretch of the inner thighs or breathe into the liver, so it's on the right side of the body by the lower ribs, quite a large organ. And by breathing in there, you bring more energy there. You help nourish your liver, liver meridian. And on the exhales, just releasing the toxins, releasing what's not needed. Breathing in fresh energy to the inner thighs or liver. And exhaling into the earth that what's no longer needed. Thank you and goodbye. And receiving on the inhale and releasing on the exhale.
Noticing how the shape feels after five minutes, not moving yet, simply feeling, simply knowing. Oh. Allowing your body to feel felt, to be tuned into that intimate relationship we can have with ourselves body, heart, mind, deeply interconnected. And then you to come out, you may want to use your hands to help. You could oh, lift the legs together and then resting with the legs near each other. Maybe sighing. Maybe yawning. Allowing that deep relaxation in, that deep release in. Feeling the breath in the lower back, trying to feel the breath in the lower back. As you relax the lower back, the buttocks, the pelvis. And then we'll move from the inner thigh to the outer thighs, so the buttocks or IT band is the target area. Figure four on the wall. You can cross the ankle over the knee and either keep the leg straight if you already have a stretch here, or bend your leg until you have that appropriate stretch anywhere, buttocks, outer leg towards the knee. And because our hips are different, maybe it's better not to have the ankle over the knee Maybe it's more effective to have knee over knee. So choose which way do you want to do your figure four. Five minutes here as well. Where do you want to rest your arms? Do you need an extra pillow under the head? Or a blanket over you? And then once you found your version of this figure four, wide or narrow, deep or gentle, relax into it. So now we're stretching the gallbladder meridian linked with the liver. So further helping our body naturally detox and naturally distribute nutrients where they need to go. You can breathe in either to the stretch sensations into the liver. And with every exhale, that surrendering, releasing, letting go. Breath by breath, receiving, releasing. Receiving, releasing.
natural ebb and flow of receiving and releasing. Receiving on the inhale, releasing with the exhale. Another breath or two here, receiving and releasing. Very slowly uncross your legs. Stretch them up the furniture, a wall, and feel, oh, what's this moment like? The difference from the one side to the other. Any vibrating, tingling, any change in heat or weight. How do you feel now? And then trying on the other side. So remember, we're not symmetrical. See what you need here. Is it better to cross the ankle over the knee? Or is it more effective to have the knee over the knee? Do you prefer the one leg more straight or more bent? So without any rush, feeling into adjusting for figure four on the other side. Do you want an extra pillow under your head or a different position, the arms? That first half a minute or so was about finding the shape without any automatic, this is how I do the shape. No, you've never done the shape in this moment. What does your body need this practice, this time? Tighter, looser, Closer, further away. And then when you found the shape that returned to inhaling either into the liver or into where you're feeling the stretch, gallbladder meridian, and the exhale into the earth, releasing that what's no longer needed, that what's moved through, it served its purpose, and it can go. And every inhale is this fresh moment of energy flowing in, and we can receive it consciously, being aware of every inhale, mm, receiving freshness. And on the exhale, that releasing, that willingness to let go. Receiving, releasing.
receiving and releasing. Feeling the inhale and exhale. And noticing how it feels after five minutes, what has shifted, what hasn't. And slowly, consciously easing out Legs back up, neutral up the wall or furniture. Maybe sighs, yawn, so, ah, oh, how do you feel now? To untie yourself from that figure four knot. How's the energy flowing here? What are you aware of in your physical body right now? Can you receive these sensations and release any resistance to what's here? Receiving now and releasing a sense that it should be different. This is what it's like now. This is yours to meet with each breath. Another five, seven breaths here. And then taking your time to roll to one side to come out. Bend the knees and roll to one side using your head or your arm as a pillow for your head. If you want to scoot away from the wall or furniture, do that. Giving time for the blood to flow back into the legs, out of the head. Curious to what you're aware of and that willingness to feel it. And then when you're ready, Stretching out onto your belly. You may need to move away from furniture, or maybe it's fine where you are. A few breaths lying on the belly. Legs, however narrow or wide, what's the natural path for your legs? Ankles rolled in or out. How do the legs want to fall? How are you now? And then we're going to come to three postures from the belly. Lizard on the left and right for that twisted back bend. And then sphinx. So bending one knee up. And the foot can be close to the leg or out. You can stay down on your forearms. Or you come up onto your elbows. We'll hold it for five minutes. Sorry, there'll be five minutes time whether you hold it the whole time or come out earlier. That's up to you. So by 
bring the knee up. We've bring, brought the hip up a bit. So there's a bit of a twist here. It's a gentle twist, but a twist. And then there's that back bend as well after having the legs up the wall, which was more forward bending, opposite direction. And the more that you relax the belly, the more you relax the legs, the deeper you sink into this compression. And for the shoulders, you can either relax into the shoulders or gently push the ground away and have the arms slightly active to support them or simply hang. The head can be in line or hang down or rest on pillows, rest in your hands. And if you're feeling like your body wants more, if there's a natural flexibility for more, of course, you can come up with the lizard on the hands. Choosing the appropriate intensity. And then once you have your shape, breathe into your shape. Be with this shape. Receiving that fresh energy of every inhale. And with every exhale, that reminder, letting go, releasing. There's been difficulty recently or some problems there. At least for now, release any sense that you have to figure anything out. You have to solve anything. Just allowing the complexity to be there. And relaxing into the complexity, the difficulty. Oh yeah, this is what it's like right now. Okay. And right now, nothing needs fixing, nothing needs solving. Mm, what a gift. What a gift to have this time and this practice like this. Receiving that gift. Releasing a sense of having to get anything figured out, anything done. Seeing if you can relax your skin a little more, your buttocks, pelvis, and belly really sink into this gentle twisting back bend. You can relax into the physical sensations, however strong or subtle they may be. Another breath here. 
And then gently exhale, straighten the leg, lower down, feel the rebound. And when you're ready, the other side, bending up the other leg, foot in or out, padding wherever needs padding, finding that position for the arms, or if it gets too much for the shoulders and you have pillows around, you can rest your upper body on bolsters or stacks of pillows. The head is welcome to hang. The head is welcome to be up. The more you relax the buttocks, the more you relax the pelvis and the belly, and let the breath freely flow. The more you come into the depths of the shape. So allowing yourself to enter into the depths of yourself without any fear of what you'll meet. Hopefully our yoga practices are, are teaching us about how each of us is really wonderful. We can all be our own best friends. As cheesy as that sounds, but I don't know, really, yeah, I can hang out with myself. And we're the only person we're always around. So hopefully we like ourselves. If there's resistance to that, trust that you can really like yourself there is so much to like about you so whatever is here hmm, this is yours to meet this is yours to care for to light in this is yours Receiving and releasing, ebbing and flowing. Your breath, your body, this moment, so precious.
Another breath here. Noticing, feeling, allowing, releasing. And then coming out of the shape gently, lying on your belly, feeling the reach. Listening to whatever your body has to say to you right now. And letting your body feel heard, feel felt. Listening to your body in an atmosphere of gratitude and care. Thank you, body. Love you, body. We'll come into one more back bend. If you prefer, you can turn around and come into melting heart, something under your lower back block or cushion, or you can stay in your belly and come either into sleeping sphinx, arms down, or going under the arms or into sphinx, or if the range of motions there, all the way up into seal. So what's appropriate for you? How much back bend does your body need? Remember, I want to really positively stress that lower back Come into the compression so that we maintain that curve for good posture, releasing any back ache, discomfort there. And to do that, we need to compress into it, juice it. And then there's also that stretch for the front of the body, room for the organs, room for the front of the spine. Oh, how high is appropriate? How intense is right for you? And then once you have your back band, mm. <laughs> hello back. And the inhale, breathing in fresh energy. I always like to feel like a waterfall in back bends. Comes down from the Top of my head, down my spine. On the exhale, that energy gathers and pulls in the lower back. This is not only good for the liver, but also really good for the kidneys. So recharging your batteries. Inhale, fresh energy flowing down, receiving that. On the exhale, letting it pool and gather all this new good buoyancy, energy, vitality, health. Releasing into the back bend, relaxing into it. And receiving each inhale full of new nutrients, new energy, new oxygen.
last couple breaths here. And then taking your time, easing out. Feeling the rebound. And after three back bends, rebound can be quite sensitive. So caring for the sensitivity, knowing that will shift to more ease and flexibility in the body. Allowing yourself to feel what's here, all the nuances, all the details, all the color and flavor. And then when you're ready, if you need more time on your belly, by all means, stay there. When you're ready, pushing back into child. And if child's not good for you, you can roll on your back and hug your knees. So either hugging your knees or in child. Just over a minute here, stretching out the back from the back bend. Inhale, receiving the stretch, receiving the oxygen, and exhale, releasing into gravity. Sense the lower back widening with every exhale. What are you aware of now? And gently shifting to lie on your back. Take your time. Move with care. And before we come into Shavasana, a little dynamic uh, twistings, the windshield wiper twists, legs side to side, or if you prefer, you can bring the legs up and move side to side. So whatever side to side twist feels good, feels needed, and you can find the pace that works. And the windshield wipers, when I drop my knees to the left, I love to stretch my right arm out. You can yawn, you can sigh. If twisting is not your thing, you'd rather hug your knees and twirl them in. Of course. What, do you, what does your body want right now? And can you offer it what it wants? And sometimes we can't. We can just act, act, recognize, oh, my body wants this, but in this moment, I can't give it. Ah, oh, body, I feel your want. And other times our body can want something and we can give it like, oh, body, I feel you want this. And here, here you go. So I'm like, oh, here, there's the stretch, this twist. Couple more breaths, moving, twisting, hugging, whatever feels good. And then if you haven't already, one more hug of the legs in before Shavasana. I feel a desire to kiss my knees. 
So if you want to kiss your knees, go for it. That deep, wonderful hug. Thank you, body. Love you, body. And then release into Tavasana, corpse pose. That willingness to fully let go like a corpse. Ah. And here again, if you want to yawn or sigh, go for it. Maybe you want to grumble or yell. Okay, go for it. Or maybe you just want to lie here still and quiet. How do you feel now? What are you aware of in this breath, in this body, in this moment? And if you want, you can just stay lying here or begin to stretch. Yawn, bend, come up to sitting. Mm. Mm. Noticing what it feels like to be sitting after that practice. I know I feel different after it. I can just feel like, ah, hello, gravity. Mm. Hello, slowness. Hello, body. And if you like, you can end with the hands together, inhaling and exhaling, bowing to you, celebrating this time you've chosen dedicated to body, heart, mind connection. And then also bowing to this online community. We practice together. We support each other. And then bowing to life, wishing that our practice is of benefit to others so that all beings may be happy. All beings full of joy and light and connection. Mm. Thank you.